Hey guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a character on the new Apollo 3 server and we're going to check it out and see exactly how the population is, how it's doing in the starting areas. Now this is a little bit past post launch, but uh, we're going to go ahead and check it out and see how it is and all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and I'm going to create a character. Let's see, now I heard there is a little bit of a faction imbalance as far as Horde having more players. So I'm probably going to be making it on the Alliance side. I want to see exactly how that's going. Now, I really like in Cataclysm the prop pallies. I really have a lot of fun with them. Um, so I got a choice between the human or drain eye as far as the prop pallies, as far as what I want to do. Um, really, if you make the human, you get the best stuff because you get the, uh, the free breakout of uh, speed and alterating and uh trapping effects so at the end of the day you, you basically get a free trinket space they're going to be the best ones to do so i'm going to make him a male i'm going to randomize his looks real quick now this is going to be a prop pally too by the way mainly making them for uh pvp to tell you the truth guys all right let's get that face a little bit younger there let's get the uh hair color or towards that kind of like that I kind of dig that let's uh, do something with the facial hair no that's pretty good skin color is pretty good we get a little bit darker there we go and the hairstyle pretty solid it looks a little bit older than I want yeah that's pretty good okay and there we go we'll make my character now I think I actually have some add-ons. I have to look to see what they are, but I'm not exactly sure which ones they are. We're just going to go ahead and check out the starting area real quick and see exactly what they have to offer. Emboldened by the return of their heroic king, Varian Rin, the proud humans of Stormwind led the Alliance to victory in its war against the dreaded Witch King. While successful, the campaign in Northrend proved costly, and the humans now seek to bolster their strategic holdings throughout the world. Under Varian's daring leadership, humanity now braces itself for a renewed conflict with its perennial enemy, the Horde. Yet, as the great cataclysm rips across the world, familiar threats have once again arisen closer to home. Well, it's pretty busy in the starting area. ...to defend the kingdom and uphold the honor of humanity. Alright, I've already been offered to join a guild. I don't know who it is. I'm just going to decline it. You're not going to offer me as soon as I log in. But, uh, let's see. The starting area it looks like there's uh, quite a few people in it right now. It looks like uh, a couple of clans have already started up. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and set this up real quick as far as my interface. Do my action bars. Beautiful. That works. Now this is actually a carryover. All I had to do was switch the server from Apollo 2 to Apollo 3 on the change realm. So it was really easy to log into guys. If you already have Apollo 2 set up or if you have a Cataclysm uh, client, uh, you'll have to change the realm lists to the twin stars for Apollo. And uh, that can get you right into the Apollo 3. We'll go ahead and see what else I, I need to select here. Let's see, controls. I'm gonna go with auto loots. Names. I like to see the enemy units and their unit plates. You don't have to see it with the friendly so much. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and go to add-ons. See what I got. I got Atlas. I got Atlas loot, Auctionator, and Bag on. So I don't have a Hillbot loaded as of right now. Totally fine. I can get around to doing that here later. I don't have to use it right in the beginning. You can make it work without it. Mouse. We're going to go ahead and. Let's join it. Why not? Just so I stop getting asked. All right, so I'm in cholesterol. There you go. Not really interested in the guild, but we're doing it anyway. Um, loading text, status text, mouse, camera, max camera distance. Great. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so also I want to go ahead and... 
what stuff I've got. I got every man for himself. I'm gonna go ahead and put that at Z. What else kind of fun stuff do I got? I got armor skills, auto attack, mace specialization. Thank you, Mr. Human Sword specialization. Uh, let's see, we got no spells right now other than Crusader Strike. Go ahead and move Crusader Strike to W. And we'll go ahead and start doing some auto. I'd like to do instant uh, quest text. I don't know if that's something I'm going to have to actually mark. Let's see. Uh... See, I'm just kind of going through it real quick, guys. Beautiful. This looks this looks really good. All right. What can I do for you? Go with Let's go ahead and um, go to settings, and I'm going to get out of guild chat right now. Guild announce. Now guild announce. And offers their chat. I really don't want to see what this guild has to offer. I'm going to go ahead and tell you how much of a player I am, man. Uh, I'll set that to black. Beautiful. Greetings. Let's go ahead and do beat them them back real quick. Killed six Lions. battle wargs. All right, we can do that. I like the little setup right here. This is kind of cool. Register. Beautiful training dummies. Looks like there's a lot of people. Let's see. One through uh, eighty-five. It's only showing 49 people. Okay. 1 through 20. 49 people. 1 through 5. 49 people. Alright, let's see something. 5 through 10. 49 people. So it's not showing you the population again, guys. We're not really seeing it. 1 through 15. Needless to say, there's a lot of people. You already see some Warsong Gulch going on. Yeah, look at that. Warsong is popping all the way up there, guys. All the way up to 54 right now. You got Warsong Gold. So some people are just, uh, looks like they're doing battlegrounds to get XP. Alright, so, let's see. See if I can get up on top of this dude. Got him. Looks like there's a lot of people. Right now, so you're going to be competing for a lot of different mobs. That's fine. No big deal. Really want to. S Got him. Nailed that dude just in time. The only problem with doing the starting area like that with a paladin is I don't have a long range hit. It's no big deal. Just kind of checking it out. Alright, so already level 2, so the XP rate. Well, XP info is not going to work. But you can tell the rates are a little bit higher. Not sure how much. It's too far away. Let's see if I can join world. All right. Went ahead and joined world as a chat. Beautiful. That's still recharging. I can't. That spell. Oh, so I do have Healbot. Right there it is. Okay, I didn't know it was preloaded. It just didn't show it in my add-ons. Beautiful. Loving it. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this quest in. Need help? There we go. Go ahead and get some gloves. Leveled again. Level three. All right, now it wants me to kill eight Black Rock spies. I've already learned Scylla of Righteousness is now available. All right, so they're now available. Do you auto learn spells? That's the big question of the day. No, you need to see your trainer to learn these. All right. Well, I don't have jack shit for uh, for uh, I'm not going to be able to learn anything right now with uh, 50 copper, guys. We'll go ahead and jump into this next quest where it's to kill some Black Rock spies level one. I'm, I'm already at level three, so you can see that you're not going to stick in the starting area too long. Usually, when you see a higher X XP rate, it's for one reason, because they're trying to really 
zero in and focus in on the in-game content versus the leveling process. So you gotta kinda pick and choose what you do. You're welcome. All right, there we go. Now that guy. Three of eight, we're doing pretty good. Hey, Pops, don't worry about me. I'm out of range. I got food. Don't cook me anything. I'm good. Thanks, man. All right, so we got four of eight on that. I'm already level four, guys. At least your skills in, in uh, Paladin are going up as you level appropriately, so I don't have to worry about as far as weapon skills and all that fun stuff. I don't know if that's auto part of uh, Cataclysm nowadays, which I don't think it is. I think weapon skill auto learning up to 20 like that is something that they preset. Bunch of goblin assassins right there. Nothing for me. Let's see. We can sneak around. I wish I could... Uh, I have to look into how to turn off these notifications. All right. Let's go ahead and take out this guy right here. One more hit for the money. Beautiful. I'm out of range. That's still recharging. That spell isn't ready yet. Yeah, I have to say, I think the population is pretty solid, guys. And it looks like they've got. Um, it looks like they've got got it set to where it's too far away. there's a dynamic respawn as far as. People in the area, or they may have it on a set timer. Alright, one more Black Rock Spy. Let me nail him right here. It's a done deal. Beautiful. Alright, there we go. Now, normally I get an add on to silence that I can't cast that yet and all that fun stuff that you're hearing. Um,. This is just a basic dry run right now. We're just kind of getting a feel of what the server's like on the first launch day. And it's seeming like it's pretty dang busy, guys. It looks uh, like it'll be pretty enjoyable, at least in the immediate future. Questing seems pretty easy. Alright, now he wants me to read the letter, which I don't need to. It just tells me about my trainer. I'll go in here and talk to the trainer real quick, learn some spells. I'm almost leveled up again. As soon as I turn this in, I'll level up. So I wouldn't go into stay. I wouldn't stay in the Abbey too long because all the quests are going to turn gray really fast. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can learn or what I can afford. Let's see. I can afford that one, and I can afford Seal of Righteousness. So we'll go ahead and learn those two. Let me put this to the end. All right, I'll put that back up for judgment now. D is going to be for Crusader Strike, at least right now. W is for Judgment. So I've got Seal of Righteousness up. Need to go sell this stuff real quick. So the MS isn't too bad, guys. It's at 189 for East Coast, North Carolina. So that's not too bad at all. Didn't have too much of a problem there. Frame rates are pretty solid. Of course, I haven't jacked up the uh, graphics on here. I shouldn't have any problems with that anyway. I probably have it set to I probably have it set already to um, locked at 60. But anyway, I could turn the multi sampling up. There's a few things you can do. Yeah, vertical seek set 59%. Well, these are all pretty high actually. Yeah, I've got everything pretty maxed out. So 60 frames per second maxed out. I mean, this is a an old version of the game. But um, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I didn't want to make it too long. I just wanted to kind of give you guys like a little sample of what it's like on launch day. Remember, if you like this style content, to go ahead and give a thumbs up and subscribe. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This is uh, Dungeon J signing out. Guys, have a great day gaming. Later.